welcome back to another video and if you're here for the very first time it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Jane, my husband Mike is holding the camera. We're British, early retirees, we have no debt, we've paid off the mortgage and we live a thrifty, frugal and money-saving life here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Sunday we bring you an aspect of our private life and something that we have done personally recently or this week to save money. Now I'm standing in what we lovingly call our library which is a bookshelves in a corridor and it's all upcycled and I had some more books and I've run out of bookshelves so this week I'm going to share with you an upcycling project that we've got to get some more bookshelves in here and it cost under 10 euros so it was a real money saver this week and we had fun doing with it. Enjoy the video. This is a little vestibule area, a little hallway at the top of a small set of stairs coming to a different part of our house. And this we affectionately call this little area our library. All the shelves in here, for example this one and these and these, those three shelves are made from old drawers, from chests of drawers. And we bought them in a recycling centre and we probably paid one or two euros each for them. And we've got some a little shelf here and another one here, paid about 50 cents for them. And in here, again, we have probably bought an old door from maybe a cupboard, probably paid 50 cents or a euro for it. And we've cut that wood up and used it on our shelves. A little cupboard here, I paid about five euros for. And each time I use a little sample pot of paint or a very small affordable pot of paint and paint that. And that is what I'm going to do today. Today we're going to make, or oh, I'm going to upcycle some shelves and fit them here around this conduit that hides the wiring. So I'm going to get some more bookshelves and I'm going to paint them and then I'm, we're going to put them up here. Give us some more space for more books in what we affectionately call our library. So here are the bookshelves that I bought. They were two euros each and they'll be fixed up on the wall in my little library. So we're going to sand them down and then paint them. Um, there's one. Mike will fix them for me once I've painted them so they actually fit on the shelves. Uh, so what was my cost? I bought a tin of paint. This is vintage pink. I think it's like a dusky pale pink. I use that on lots of other things as well. And my paint, my garden furniture with it this year because it says it goes on wood, metal or plastic. That's good stuff, isn't it? And I bought some paintbrushes. So the paint was seven euros. The paintbrushes, um, they're about five euros for the lot of those, but obviously the paintbrushes are used again. So I am going to get sanding and then painting.
it's about seven o'clock at night and I just wanted to give both of the shelves another coat of paint so it can dry overnight and we can get them up we Mike can put them up for me tomorrow I quite like the pink it's quite an old-fashioned looking color so there it is this shelf has had three coats of paint the one behind it that one has had two coats of paint and hopefully that's enough I'm working on the basis that you're not going to see much of the shelves themselves because they're going to be covered in books and it's a piece of useful furniture and that's what I'm hoping for. and they cost two euros and the paint was really cheap and I need somewhere to put the books that we've bought recently there we go all painted I'm going in and probably going to get ready for bed shelf up and we've worked out where we can fit it because to the left of the shelf is the light switch we want it this steps down so we can put our books up here as well it's about maximum book storage here and we've then measured the size of the conduit we've marked it on here we'll have to make it slightly cut it slightly outside of the line to fit it in and it's one of those make to amend things but it, it's not about precision it's got to just fit, it's going to fit it, but it's going to be covered in books, so you won't see the back of that in the same way as I haven't painted the back of it. So the back of the bookshelf painting inspector, I can't worry about that. You didn't paint it? No, no I didn't, can't be bothered, nobody's going to see it. So we've marked it on each one, we're going to cut it slightly, I'll show you here, cut it out just outside of the line so it can fit in and then we can fix it to the wall and there is the bookshelf. So. Let's get it cut. got room to buy more books which is always good isn't it we buy all our books second hand everything in this little library <laughs> I'm playing with you it's not a library in my bookshelves it's all second hand all the paint was very affordable and and there it is oh I'm really happy with that I really really love a bit of make do and mend. I think what's on these bookshelves? These are a couple of cute little containers. One's a tin, one's a box. That's a letter rack. Don't get many letters these days, do we? But the letter rack's cute. Our old Roberts radio that we've had forever and ever and ever. And the books. And there it is. I'm thrilled with that. So the shelves in total were four euros. The tin of paint was seven. I've used half the tin of paint. I've got loads of paint left. I'm always on the lookout for more shelves. I'm really pleased with that. We really enjoy these little projects of things that we like to do and put in our house. Mike and I have got something in common. We both like our house to look nice, be pretty, be we a bit do. fun. We, we do. We don't want it to be too serious. And sometimes it's okay. It's absolutely okay, isn't it? To go off to a charity shop or a recycling centre like we did and pick up something that didn't cost very much money. And this, you know, the shelf was two euros. That one was two euros. The paint was seven euros. We used half a tin. Gives me an excuse to paint something else pink. I think it's fun. Books are secondhand, everything. So it's a really, really fun thing to do. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Hand this over to you. 
Do you like to upcycle? Do you like to go thrifting? Do you like to go to secondhand stores and charity shops and furnish your house that way? Do you have fun doing it? If you enjoyed the video, go on, make sure that you hit the like button. We know half of you watching are not subscribers, half of you are, but half of you watching and not subscribers so go on hit that subscribe button it costs you nothing and we'll see you soon bye for now <laughs>